All right, so when we talk Supreme Team, everybody, we, we have to mention this guy, 50 Cent. 50 is... Go ahead, finish, 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 finish. 50 finish. names comes up every time we talk about Supreme because they had like this. Yeah. Th- there were their, like, you know what I'm saying, arch nemesis, rivals or whatever. Mm-hmm. How, what, all right, so how old are you now? 28. So what age were you when you first started hearing about 50 Cent? You were born in 95? Yeah. 50 heard, blows up in, in 2022. Or 2002, sorry, yeah, yeah 03, that so, time yeah, period. So, yeah, eight years old. And I was a fan. Like, That's how can you not be... Like, I'm not a liar. I'm not going to get on nobody's camera or nobody's screen and lie. Like, he was the biggest... I'm from Queen. I'm from New York. He's the biggest thing moving. Like, I was a fan. Like, I had... But remember I told y'all I found out about who my dad was when I was like 12, 11, 12, 13? So you, one of those ages. You, you were a 50 fan for a while before you that's even what figured I'm about, out. That's what I was about to say. Like, yeah. yo, I had posters of this guy. Like, I was... I, I knew every word to every song. Like... My mother used to buy me the G-Unit sneakers. I had was wearing the do-rags. Like, that was like, he was the the person. I was a fan. You didn't have the wife beaters with the striped I had colored all that. sleeves. I had oh, all that. No. The, the G-Unit tank tops. The, the G-Unit tops. tank tops. I had all that. I had that. the shoes. I never had the tank top. Like, yeah. I was a, like, I, bro, I'm telling you, like, I had his poster, bro. Yeah. Like, I'm, and then, like, could you imagine, like, me going through that shell shock? Like, me finding out my dad is, like, his arch, I'm like, yo. So how did you find out? Like, what's the day like? I was like, all right, I, I mean, can't with 50 no more because of. You said, how did I find out? What made me feel that way? What made you feel like you can't be a fan? Or how did you even find yeah, out? Yeah, how did you find out? How did I find out about the situation? I'm like. Through the through, music, through, right? Through, through the people in the neighborhood. Like, people telling me. People put me on. Like Because oh. if you keep listening to 50 Cent and you go back to them as his older stuff, you're going to start, like, actually hearing tales and yeah. like, hearing your dad's name. That's yeah. That's, a, that's a fact. Um, I wouldn't even necessarily say I'm not a fan anymore. Like, I mean, his music ain't good now, but like, <laughs> up, like a couple years ago, like maybe 2016, 2016, I don't have a problem with listening. I know how to separate the person from the 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 art form. Right. His music, he like he he's he went diamond twice. Like he don't he doesn't make bad music. You feel me? But that I'm a fan of his music. I don't have to be a fan of him. I'm not saying I hate him either. Because a lot of people always be like, yo, you hate 50, that's your op. That's, I can't, I'm 28. He's 40-something years old. How can that be my op? That's mm-hmm. not my op. Him and my dad is him and my dad. That's not my op. What do you understand from Supreme and 50 Cent's initial beef and how it initially even started? What do you hear? Um, well, I just feel like from my knowledge and what I know, I feel like 50 was just mad that my dad didn't want to take on him as an artist. Mm. Like, why are you dealing with Murder, Inc. and Ja Rule and them and you could be, I'm from your neighborhood. Like, sign me. Get me signed. Mess with me. And my dad was with them. He, my dad's loyal, so he's going to be with the people. He's going to stay with the people he always been with. So I guess 50 was like, you know what? I'm going to show you that I'm better than them and I'm going to murder them too while I'm doing it. I want to prove to you, like, you should have been dealing with me the whole time. So it was kind of like he idolized or he looked up to my dad and he didn't really like that my dad didn't want to like embrace him. Like, come, 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 let me stamp you. Like he stamped Ja Rule and he stamped Murder Inc. He, I think 50 wanted that too. It's crazy because that, that story is almost exactly the same as Gucci and BMF. Mm-hmm. Where Gucci, like, B- BMF wouldn't fuck with him because he's a robber and he was like too crazy or whatever. So then Gucci basically says like, all right, fuck y'all and does his own thing. And then they tried to kill him, which is also something I want to bring up is that allegedly at one point, your dad dropped that bag on 52, which mm-hmm. must have been kind of weird for you as a kid to even figure out, like, oh, my dad is, like, allegedly capable of such things. Mm. But that's why you use the word allegedly. Right. So it's not we can never it. really prove yeah. it. But I mean, I feel like um, I don't really base anything that I do of, of gossip or, like, ch- like, chirps about something. Like, he, I mean, and, who, and where, does, where does it say that he was the one that did it? I don't even I don't even think that's like a thing. I think people just came up with that own conclusion on their own. I mean, if you watch Fifty Cent movie, it just seems like your dad was majestic. That's all subjective, and- though. You feel me? That's all subjective. Like it's not it's not proven. But do you really think your dad wouldn't be care- capable of putting money on somebody's head? Because to me, it seems pretty obvious that that was the kind of thing that he probably did I, do I, at I, times. I don't, I don't think so. Really? I don't think so. I feel like if you're that deep in the drug game at a certain point, like if I was going to become a guy who's buying and distributing kilos of cocaine, yeah. at a certain point, if somebody robs you, you got to be ready to kill him but or pay somebody else to kill him. But I feel like it's some it's some people that was in that life that's more diplomatic than others. Right. So if you, if, I feel like if you know how to carry yourself and you know how to talk to people and people just respect you off 
you know, how you carry yourself, you you might not need to uh, push the button on them. But I feel like nobody, nobody, nothing gets respect like violence. Like if you're going to be in that world yeah. where violence is how things are resolved at a certain point, you don't become King Vaughn unless you make it clear that you're down to do some fucking drills. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's true. That's true. But um, so if you was in the streets, you you think you would drop a bag on somebody? For sure. I think most street people probably do shit like that, right? Or they do it themselves. They only don't do it themselves when they get too famous for, to do it. I don't, mm-hmm. I, I don't think I would agree with that. But the more that we, the more we learn about rappers, whether it's Boosie or Young Boy or whoever, at a certain point you start realizing like, oh, once dudes get big enough, if they're really in the street shit, mm-hmm. they start dropping bags on people. Let me ask you this: What about if your rep? You know how they say your reputation precedes you. Yeah. So what if people think that you do that and then they'll like start that domino effect and now people are even scared to even test you because they think that you would do that. Then all the better. If I'm a gangster you get what I'm and people are saying that I dropped the bag on somebody, I'm going to let them say it exactly. no matter what, even if it's not true because exactly. that shit is just going to make you more feared and respected, right? And that might have been his case. People might have just respect. First of all, he did his time because this is not his first bid that he did. He'd been, you know, he did bids before. So if they like, okay, this guy, he did his time. He never told on nobody and mm. he's, a, he's like maybe have the capabilities of doing that let's not even fuck with this guy right i think 50 was probably like the only person that even attempted to like go against or like speak out or like say any ill things towards him right i I haven't i never heard that because people people loved him and they respected him like he was doing basketball tournaments in the neighborhood he was giving families money he was like he was a generous person so I feel like that's when Nori be like, is it better to be loved or respected or something like that? Like, I feel like it's better to be respected. And, and people forget, though, but the main thing that people would hate on 54 when he first came out was because of songs like Ghetto Quran that basically took all this old ass street shit mm-hmm. and put it into the music and told stories about your pops and whoever else. And people would call him a snitch for that. And 50's response was always, there are books out there that mm-hmm. have all this information in it. So you can't say that I'm a snitch when all this shit is publicly available, which is another conversation we still see playing out all the time where somebody like Jay Main will come on here and say, I saw Tay Savage shoot at so-and-so, and then people call him a snitch. And then he says, well, look at this YouTube video and this YouTube video that have 300,000 views that have the same exact shit that but I just, just talked because, about. But just because it's already out there don't mean you got to say it either. True. If it's already out there, why do you have to say it? People right. already know. So I feel like if you add fuel to the fire, you, you just as guilty. Right, you get so is that, and that's the diff, that's the fine line between snitching, dry snitching, and just shutting the fuck up. So you do feel like Ghetto Quran was dry snitching? I didn't say that. No, I'm asking. That. Um, me personally, no, but the people who was in the song, they don't want to be talked about. They are not entertainers. They street people. So you saying their names and songs, like, what if they still active, or what if they trying to change their life? What if they in church now? What if they like? But when he was doing it, he was doing it like as like paying homage, I feel like. Mm. But the, if somebody told you they don't want their name in the song and you know they don't want their name in the song, just respect it. Don't put their name in the song. But I feel like he just was like, yo, I'm going to do what I want to do and still, and still did it. And the difference between him and like an author is that m- very few gang members are going to go shoot a guy who wrote a book about their crew or whatever. Yeah. But if you're a participant, if you were a guy who was around when we were coming up and yeah. now you're a famous rapper or whatever, b- being a rapper, you're still basically like in the streets because yeah, you're surrounded by the street shit that's no matter what. So you can understand why him putting in the song to them is way different than a book because yeah. realistically like less than 1% of the people who listen to that song are ever going to read that book. I don't feel like he did nothing wrong with the song though. Mm. It's a dope song and he's just paying homage to his neighborhood, to his to his borough. So I don't, me personally, my Thought process, I don't think that the song was wrong. And mm-hmm. I like the song. Like, I used to listen to the song in the car. Like, you feel me? Like, I want to listen to it right now. That's a classic. <laughs> we just hit 600,000 subscribers on the Clips channel right here. We're trying to get to 700. So you know what to do. Smack that red button and subscribe. Appreciate you.